welcome to my kitchen. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. And if you uh, clicked on this video, you pretty much want to know how to make banana bread. Well, that's something I can teach you here today. It's very simple to do. All you need is a banana and some bread. You know, banana bread after all. But let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to do is pretty much get me a plate, get me a fresh banana, and get me two pieces of bread. The bread you want depends on your taste. You know, some people like this kind, and other people like, you know, whole wheat bread. It just depends on you. You can use any kind of bread you want. So we're going to go ahead and put that next to a banana. And now we've got the start of a banana bread. The next thing you want to do is to peel your banana. And other, some people peel bananas certain ways, other people peel them other ways, but they always give me trouble. It's like I, I make banana pudding out of them before I even get them open. But here's a banana. Oops. But this, you know, we just go with it. We have a little extra piece of banana right here. We could just go ahead and put a bread here, but that ain't how you fix this. What you want to do is take a knife, a plastic knife is safer, but go ahead and cut your banana because we want it to cover every bit of the bread and we put the top on it. Now you can add peanut butter to this if you like pe peanut butter with your bananas or jelly, but this is just a plain banana sandwich. You know, you can add any kind of toppings you want, pickles, peanut butter, jelly, you know, add it all if you want to. It smells like a banana bread. If you're looking to figure out how to make your own banana bread, hopefully you found this video helpful. And we're going to dive into it and get a good taste of it. And i tell you what I experienced. It kind of tastes like a vanilla wafer. Because you got the banana and you got the bread. But the banana does make the light bread, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, kind of moist, you would call it. Uh, it makes it, you know, very soft. It soaks into the bread. It's still a good snack. If you're looking for that vanilla wafer flavor or banana pudding flavor, then a banana sandwich gets you a pretty close match. If you ain't tried it, you're watching this video and you're like, what is he talking about? Go make you a banana sandwich. Put in the comment section what you think about it. Does it taste like banana pudding? Does it taste like a vanilla wafer? And you'd be surprised. I bet a lot of people say it does. So let's take another bite. That's very good. So if you found this video enjoyable, you enjoyed watching, you maybe found you a new favorite snack, be sure if you're new, get subscribed, check my channel out for more content. And if you're returning subscriber, as always, I appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch another one of my videos. And uh, I'll see you next time on, a, you know, another one.